You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. The great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. And great happiness of life is a conviction that we are all loved. Loved for ourselves and even loved in spite of ourselves. In my future, I see you and me and a house and garden filled with trees. I see dinner parties surrounded by friends and a vegetable patch we love to tend. I see cosy nights in front of the fire and a four-poster bed for when we tire. I see our kitchen, which will be the heart of our home, and a Victorian bath brimming with foam. I see muddy willies by the front door and the kids eating cookies and asking for more. I see nights in the garden, camping under the stars, and shelves full of mismatching local jam jars. I see family picnics outside with the dog and a little blue shed containing the logs. I see us sat by the window watching the snow and reading the papers and learning to grow. I see pictures of family in quirky frames and letters or the kids' doors spelling out their names. I see laughter, pain, kisses and tears and helping each other to confront our fears. I see you as my friend and also my lover, confident and your children's mother. I see a wonderful future for you and I and it's cloaked in love until we die. Dioch o galon a macroes a cynnes rydyg wedi dangos i cael ei ac un i fel teile. And uh, for all you non-Welsh speaking people, <laughs> as if I'm one of them, uh, thank you for the warm welcome you have shown to Carly and us as a family. On the day of their engagement, uh, we had the pleasure of meeting Rainer and Ed, and Gareth's sister and cousins, and, and it was clear to me that day that seeing all the happy, smiling faces, <laughs> that Carly was joining a, a loving family, <laughs> who generally we will care for her and take good care of her. So we're not worried in the slightest. As you prepare to walk down the aisle dressed in pearls and lace, I want you to know how much you mean our bond could never be replaced. Childhood memories of us running along John Smith's Bay, pink sand between toes and us jumping through waves. My best friend growing up and now she's a bride and I am so honored to stand by your side. I'll pass the champagne and fix your hair because just like before, I will always be there. We shared years of laughter, we made a great team. Now I'm so proud you're marrying the man of your dreams. Your journey on as husband and wife but I wanted you to see. You're many things to many people, but my sister, you'll always be. No longer a miss, but always my sister. <laughs> That's, you wrote that. Yes. <laughs> I often told my children, I'm one of the luckiest men in the world. All right, so I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I always did it. And, um, and after meeting my lovely wife, I had not realized then that I was gonna, it was gonna get a whole lot better. You know, with uh, not just once, twice, but three times we struck gold with our kids. No longer kids, all adults now, but. Uh, you know, with the anticipation of Carly's arrival, you know, Phil and I were being, you know, being new parents with Hannah, we, we were so much in love with, it could at times be a bit overwhelming. And we, you know, wondering how much, you know, this, would we feel the same depth of love that we had for Hannah? And the truth of the matter is, you know, Carly came prepackaged with a whole heap of love when she arrived, and it's been funny, and it's been, uh, it's been uh, probably one of the best experiences of my life as a human being to have uh, Carly as a, a daughter. <laughs> You're a beautiful babe. You're the absolutely beautiful. Honey. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. You know, I think that Gareth is now the lucky one. I think he's he's really 
I'm really, really, really happy for her and I'm happy for him as well. The elaborate plan was a surprise proposal to Carly in our first real home together. A path of rose petals was to lead to the front, from the front door to the kitchen, where a ring, bouquet and more flowers and a bottle of champagne were sat on the kitchen top awaiting us. I enlisted a crack team of operatives to ex execute this plan. My cousin Millie and my auntie Rona. Their roles were essentially to get the house ready and set the trap before I and Carly stepped foot in it. The night before began civilly enough. A few drinks, a bit of dinner, more drinks followed. But as the night drinks were closed, I was sure the ruse was still on and I retired to bed early to get myself ready to prepare for the next day. Carly, egged on by Ellen, Millie and Rich, all of whom had forgotten about the next day, finally came to bed at 2 a.m. in floods of tears after Raina had abruptly put an end to her rendition of Wicked's Defying Gravity halfway through the bridge. <laughs> Your family hate me. Raina shouted at me. I don't want to sleep here tonight. It's the blow-up mattress up at the new house. 30 minutes later, she was finally asleep and six hours later, she was up, but very hungover. And then I dragged a slightly red-eyed, hoarse-voiced, feeling, feeling sorry for herself and nauseous Carly to the new house. Many of you have seen the video and you know it ended well. Anyway, for all of your love, advice, help and support over the years, we'd like to um, propose a toast just to the whole family and both families really, so cheers to family. Just got some final people to thank before I move on to Carly, my dazzling new wife. Thank you, bridesmaids, Sam, Sophie, Millie, Beth, Katie and Chloe. Not only have you been there for Carly today, you've looked very beautiful and extremely classy doing it. That will change later, I'm sure, but you know. You've been such kind and caring friends for her over the years, and I don't think you do truly realise the value add to both of our lives. It's been a pleasure to meet you all and get to know you all. And finally, Hannah, Carly's big sister and maid of honour. Carly told me that having Hannah as a sister is like having an annoying friend for life. I know the feeling now, in fairness. You're a very kind soul, and much braver than me and Carly will ever be, and you can always be relied on to come up with some extremely good baked goods. Thank you for all the love and support you've given Carly for the wedding, and more than that, for the last 30 years. A toast to all the bridesmaids. Right, now the bit I actually want to do, the, bit, the most important part, I'm going to talk about Carly, my lovely new wife. Yeah. I have to admit, I've been calling into my wife to strangers for a few weeks now just to get a feel for saying it. And in all honesty, it's only ever felt right. Thank you for planning and arranging everything today. This is no exaggeration, as many of you will know. You've done the most amazing job, and I think everyone will agree you've put on a hell of a wedding. So, a toast to the wedding planner. <laughs> <laughs> Since we met on a well-known dating app back in the spring of 2018, nearly five years ago now, I had a funny feeling we'd end up here, where I was blow, genuinely blown away for the first time with just how beautiful you are. Believe it or not, I've got a quite, quite a shy side, and it took some perseverance from Carly to bring that out of me. But we got there in the end, and eventually, and I think her patience and resilience with me in those early times is one of the first things that made me genuinely fall in love with you. We've been lucky enough to make so many happy memories together. I saw how generous you are when you took me to the Lion King after a few months of dating. And by the time we danced at a Casey Musgraves concert for the first time, there was definitely signs that the slow burn was going somewhere very special. We've said so many times before that the truly the best memories are the simplest ones like a sunny afternoon, not long after moving into our new house in the garden, drinking a little bit too much, and exploring new places where we live with the dog, 
I genuinely know I'm marrying the person who will make me happy, no matter else what's going on in the world, and no matter what we do or don't have. And now I sit here married to a kind, funny, beautiful woman, amongst friends and family, having bought a dream first home, with the sweetest girl dog, and a job I've really wanted since I was 17. So for that, thank you for making the luckiest man in the world. We've exchanged vows already, but I just want to add a few more personal ones. I promise to love you every minute, even when you don't think I do, when we're not in the same building. I promise to make you tea whenever you ask for it, and more often than not when you don't. I promise to always tell you when I'm feeling sad or anxious, and listen and support when you are too. I promise to always tell you I'm feeling happy because of something kind you've done or something hilarious you've said. And I promise to support you and accept sacrifices in order for you to follow your own dreams wherever and whenever they need following. Making you happy truly is the biggest accomplishment of my life. I would now like to invite the bride and groom to the dance floor. When it rains, it pours, but you didn't even notice It isn't raining anymore, it's hard to breathe when all you know is the struggle of staying above the rising waterline While the sky is finally open the rain and wind stop blowing But you're stuck out in the same old storm again Let go of your umbrella Darling, I'm just trying to tell you That there's always been a rainbow Hanging over your head If you could see if you could see what I see You'd be blinded by the colours Yellow, red and orange and green And at least a million others To tie up your bow, take off your coat Take a look around Might I wear it now, my God a quinter cloud, it's out of odd. Giving Bashach and Han all a storm. Dalichdini, a humbarel. Can you drag a record well? Be now a start envy some to a new bed. Take off your coat, take a look around Everything is alright now The sky is finally opened The rain and winds are blowing You're not stuck out in the same old storm again Darling, I'm just trying to tell ya That there's always been a rainbow Hanging over your head Yeah, there'll always be a rainbow Hanging over your head It'll all be all around